good morning dear children today we will start our lesson number 17 environment pollution nature has gifted us with things like air water forests soil and wildlife which are known as natural resources we should use them carefully and judiciously if we will not use them carefully or we will become careless about them they will get dirty or polluted so in this chapter we will learn about pollution what is pollution mixing of harmful materials in useful ones is called pollution land air or water are said to be polluted if they become dirty so children pollution is gradually destroying our planet with the growth in population and advancements in the field of science and technology environmental pollution has increased there are three types of pollution land pollution water pollution and air pollution let us study about them land pollution The mixing of dirty unwanted elements in the soil is called land pollution. Sometimes mismanagement of the land also leads to the land pollution. The main causes of land pollution are throwing of garbage in the open which makes the land dirty and filthy. Excessive use of pesticides, insecticides and fertilizers for a long period of time also destroys the fertility of the soil cutting down of trees on large scale that is deforestation it also responsible for land pollution soil erosion and land degradation they also cause land pollution soil erosion means the removal of top fertile layer of the soil with air water water pollution mixing of dirty unwanted elements in the water bodies like rivers lakes seas etc is called water pollution the main causes of water pollution are all the dirty water from bathrooms and kitchens flows into drains and from the drains it goes into the rivers makes the river water dirty the dirty water that comes out of the factories has many harmful chemicals the waste water from factories goes into rivers and lakes making it dirty salt and other suspended solids such as soil washed off from the fields also makes the water dirty activities like bathing and washing clothes in rivers making the water dirty are religious activities like immersion of the ashes of the dead and the idol of gods in water makes the water dirty air pollution the mixing of dirty unwanted elements in air is called air pollution air pollution is caused due to many reasons smoke from factories and industries pollutes the air smoke from vehicles buses cars and other vehicles get the energy from petrol and diesel when this petrol and diesel burn they form smoke and this smoke from vehicles has many harmful gases which pollutes the air burning of crackers and garbage in the open leads to air pollution accidental fires and forest fires they also cause smoke and it also leads to air pollution during the war time military use of weapon and other rocketry leads to air pollution in order to live in a clean environment we need to reduce pollution we need to follow certain rules and bring changes in the environment some of the preventive measures that should be taken to save our environment are promote the use of cng 
compressed natural gas and LPG liquefied petroleum gas in vehicles plant more and more trees so that soil erosion air pollution land pollution become less clean the waste water from our homes and factories before letting it flow into the water bodies follow the 3 hours reduce reuse and recycle shift industries and factories to remote areas for far away places religious rituals should not be allowed in rivers these are some of the ways that we should follow to reduce the pollution to save our environment thank you children have a nice day